In this video, you'll learn how to use Camtasia and Adobe Premiere Pro together. So if you want to utilize Camtasia as your primary screen recorder software while using Adobe Premiere Pro as your primary editing software, this video is exactly for you. So let's get into it. Welcome to the Binary IQ. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Also, by the end of this video, if you learn something from it, do hit that like button. So let me show you how you can utilize your Camtasia for creating videos and recording your screen while utilizing Adobe Premiere Pro for editing those screen recordings and videos. Now Camtasia has a very powerful screen recording software in which you can utilize your webcams or any other video cameras along with your screencast, which makes it a great screen recording software. However, there would be times when you would want to utilize the power of Adobe Premiere Pro to edit those videos. Now the main problem with Camtasia is its recording format. So I'll quickly open Camtasia. Right now I'm in a blank project, a new project. I'll click on record. I'll hit this record button. Let me move my mouse around a little bit. I'm just trying to make a point here. Let me hit F10, the short key for closing the recording software. So Camtasia has created a new recording file and it has put it on my timeline as well. Right now, this file, I'll open the file location. So let me go to the file location and I'll just copy this file and paste it on my desktop. Now I'll open my Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll create a new project. Let the settings be. Now let me import this media. So in my desktop, as you can see, I'm not able to find any supported media. I'll go to my desktop again. We'll see that there is this screen recording file. However, I cannot utilize it. So if I try dragging it on, it says file format not supported. So this is where there is an issue with using Camtasia with Premiere Pro that the files directly recorded are in a .trec format. So if I go to the properties, you'll see that the type of file is TechSmith recording format, which can be utilized only with TechSmith Camtasia. However, there is a bypass to it. So I'll show you three methods of doing it. The first method involves going to the Camtasia software where you have recorded your file, simply right clicking on this file and go to extract recording contents. So I'll just click on extract recording contents. I'll go to my desktop and I'll select that folder. Now it's ask, telling me what to extract in this video i just use my screen video and my microphone if you have your webcam video or have any system audio which was to be recorded it would have recorded these two as well let me extract these two camtasia doesn't show you any completed dialog box so simply go to your desktop and you'll find your file created i'll just right click on this go to the properties again and you can see it's a file with a .avi format which you can use easily utilize with Premiere Pro. So let me drag this file onto Premiere Pro and let me drag it onto the timeline as well. The only issue with this file is that if I move through it you will see that there is no cursor. So I'll just open this file directly to show you. So as you can see the cursor is not visible. This is what happens when you are exporting your files from .trec to .avi. This is sort of a bug which is in Camtasia which has not been fixed yet. So the second way of creating a file format which can be utilized for your Premiere Pro would be to directly go to the share and create a local file. Now yes, this is a hardcore solution and not a very efficient one. So I will not go into much details. All you need to do is create an MP4 file, click on next, select the size, video settings, audio settings, and so on, and create that file. Again, as I said, it's not an efficient solution. So let me show you an efficient solution. So let this file be, I'll create a new record. But while recording, I'll go to my tools, go to my options, and instead of recording it in the form format .trec, I'll directly utilize the .avi format. I'll click on OK. However, when you have selected the the .avi format, go to the effects, check on the cursor and make sure that you show your cursor. 
so in the effects you have to in the cursor you have to show your cursor so let me click on record and i'll move my mouse around again and i'll have hit f10 to come out of this recording software now the second file which i have created if i go to the details of this file as you'll see it is a dot avi file and i can utilize this file directly so if i go to this file i'll open the file location i'll just copy it again go to my desktop and paste it if i open this file now you can see my cursor and i can utilize this file directly in premiere pro so if i open premiere pro again delete this and try utilizing my file if i scrub through it you can see my cursor appear so there you have it the three methods of creating a file in camtasia and utilizing those videos in premiere pro so if you like this video do hit that like button also again if you're not subscribed do subscribe and while you're at it hit that notification bell thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one